This is basically going to answer the final two parts of the question, parts C and D. Parts C and D refer to this um, residual um, plot. I basically went ahead and did a, a histogram of all the residuals. So our residuals ran from about, mm, I'd say maybe about negative, what, 17 to about positive 17, somewhere around there. And how often they happened is our frequency. So the question said, um, assuming that the distribution of residuals is approximately normal with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of 5.9, what percent of the residuals are greater than eight? So what I went ahead and did and what you should do to address a question like this is you should draw the picture. So realistically, I'm gonna draw the picture of the curve. It's a normal distribution centered at zero. And what I have done now is I've gone ahead and I've labeled all of the standard deviations. So plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one, minus two, minus three. And then I went ahead and put eight because that's what the question said, greater than eight. So eight centimeters and above. Now there's two ways that you can answer this question. Um, I know Mr. Mike has taught this way. I haven't really gone over this with my students in any great detail, some I've shown. Um, you can figure out the Z-score uh, and the Z-score would allow you to say, uh, your data value eight minus your mean zero divided by 5.9, 1.36 is your z-score. And then you could go ahead and use table A, which is the standard normal uh, distribution um, table. You go ahead and that table would give you the probability of z being less than 1.36, To get the greater then we take the complement, one, one minus 0.9131. Uh, so that would give me a probability of, um, of about 0.0869. So a little bit less than 9%. Um, I also understand that normal CDF is, is going to be acceptable, and if I did that, I would go ahead and use the calculator, uh, second bars, and what we go ahead in this one is we use our lower bound of 8, our upper bound lots of 9s, our mean of 0, our standard deviation of 5.9, the probability that the residual is greater than 8, and I would definitely make sure you put something down like this because it's speaking stats, not just throwing numbers down. Um, is 0 0.0876. So as you can see, both of those numbers are relatively, are relatively close. Um, then part D actually asks you the question that says, based on your answer to part C, would it be surprising to randomly select us uh, a high school student, a high school senior from this school with a foot length of 20 centimeters and a height greater than 165 centimeters, which is basically saying, are these numbers surprising? And what we've talked about all year is the magic number is 5%, 0 0.05. Neither of these numbers are less than 0 0.05. So you would say, in, in essence, no, it would not be surprising um, to have a randomly selected high school senior who was 165 centimeters tall and having a foot length, um, or having a foot length of 20 centimeters with a height of greater than 165 centimeters. So it's that 5% rule again, and that's how you'd want to answer it. You want to answer it in a complete sentence. So you want to make sure that you addressed it completely.